Okay, I am back to once again say at the top of my lungs that I still think this team needs that number one X factor type of receiver. You know, Rashad Bateman, even though he, he's had some ups and downs this season, but obviously we still all have high hopes for what he's going to be. Um, uh, obviously, I'm happy that Devin DuVernay has really maximized his opportunity so far. He's out here looking like a really solid role player. But but again, we still could very much use more talent at wide receiver and not just anybody off the street like like them signing Andy Isabella, but which is what they did uh, uh, like a week ago. But I'm talking about like actually somebody who's a real threat. I'm seeing right now rumors coming out saying that what what if the Ravens could trade for DJ Moore? My response to that is yes, 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 dear God, yes, yes, yes. Like, why is this not so? Why, I don't know why certain Ravens fans don't want to be happy. I just don't understand why they don't want to be happy. Some of these people they enjoy not being happy. I don't understand. Like DJ Moore is a player who on on a team where I don't even know if if up until this point has DJ Moore even played with a decent quarterback in Carolina, but still in previous seasons he's had like what three four seasons in a row where he had like over eleven hundred yards and like four touchdowns. When you watch this guy play, he's clearly a beast. He's clearly one of the most underrated receivers in the NFL. He's clearly a number one X factor type of receiver and. Certain Ravens fans are still trying to convince themselves that we couldn't use that. We absolutely could use that. What would it take to get him? I don't know, but you, it could take something. I saw somebody in the comment section of, of, of Engraven's video in, uh, talking about this where he said, where the person was saying, oh, it's not realistic for the Panthers to give up, uh, to, to, for the Panthers to give up DJ Moore. Listen, if, if, if the Chiefs were willing to trade Tyreek Hill, as big of a threat as he is, if the Chiefs were willing to trade Tyreek Hill, no, in my eyes, no, in my head, no receiver is safe at that point. Anybody for the right price can be traded. Why should we not hope for the final things in life? Why shouldn't we be happy? For Why shouldn't we desire more offensively? Because you see, like, in the past, like, couple of weeks that... We still are lacking that type of play, that type of big time playmaker type of receiver on this team. So you keep seeing situations where if Lamar's not absolutely perfect, if this O line isn't ab- holding up their weight, if the if the current receivers are, are having a bad day, there's nobody on this team who's just that person you could just say, okay, let's just get it to get the ball to him and just hope it just hope that he just makes magic happen the 49ers have that with Debo Debo Samuel is like the perfect example of that like somebody where it's just like when all else fails all Jimmy G or whoever has to do is just say yo screw it man let's just throw this this quick um pitch um screen pass to um to Debo Samuel and just let him do his thing next thing you know he's 70 yards up the field in the end zone why wouldn't you want that type of that type of threat on offense for Lamar? Of course, I want to see DJ Moore on the the Ravens. What would it take to get him? I don't know. I don't know. What would I give up? I'd give up a lot. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm not a a, a, a GM for NFL team or anything like that. But I know I would give up a lot. I would just say, hey, listen, I got a couple of of I don't know how many picks the Ravens going to have next year in the draft, but. Just a hypothetical scenario. I would just be like, listen, I'll, I'll give up like these, like a couple of these thirds, you know, this second round pick, maybe even a first round pick, and maybe a couple of, of bench players or, or third, second or third string players we have right now. I, I, I'd hand that over. Shoot, I'd give up um, Gus Edwards in, along with all that too, just to say, okay, let's go out there and get DJ Moore. I also saw rumors. Saying of people talking about Odell Beckham Jr. coming to Baltimore, of course I would want to. Of course I would want to see that too. It's yet to be seen if anything's gonna happen for that. Obviously, I'll prefer DJ. I, I did a video about OBJ coming to Baltimore like a year or so ago, before he went to the Rams. Unfortunately, you know, he didn't come to Baltimore. I would have liked for him to. 
as, as at the present moment, I, I would if I had to choose, like let's say hypothetically they both wanted to come to Baltimore, I would prefer DJ Moore right now just for the simple fact that OBJ is like still recovering from an injury. So, like best case scenario, like you even if they signed him today, it probably wouldn't be safe to play him. Cause he just it probably wouldn't be safe to play him to like maybe November or December. You know, cause you don't want to risk him like re- hurting himself all over again. Cause he just tore his ACL back in February, so I don't know how far along he's come with his rehab. <laughs> you know, hopefully he does you know properly heal and get all that sorted out. But but I'll take either one. Either, even even an injured OBJ, I would still take it knowing that by November, December, he's going to be ready to come back. I would still take that. But if we could get DJ Moore, obviously I'll be, like, head over heels happy for that too. You know, and I, and I mean, if I'm DJ Moore, I would want to leave. Like, why would you not want to leave? Why would you not want to leave Carolina? From the time you've been there, they've been a dumpster fire. The quarterbacks keep getting worse. The team keeps getting worse. Why not come over to the winning side? I don't know why... You wouldn't just want to demand demand a. Tra- I, I mean, I don't know if it's that simple to demand a trade, but I mean, why wouldn't you want to come over to the winning team? Come over, here, like, listen, you'll get plenty of targets. Right, listen, right now, because you have a lot of people in the Ravens flock that whenever we talk about bringing a premier receiver, people will say silly things like, "Oh, he's not going to get targets," as if fucking Pat Ricard doesn't get like five, six targets every time he goes out there. As if Lamar doesn't throw it to anybody, if it depend, if depending on if the opportunity's there. But look, man, right now DJ Moore, he's not off to a, a great start this season because right now, you know, Baker Mayfield like hasn't really looked in his direction, hasn't really found him much. So I would imagine DJ at all times, at all at all the time he's been in the NFL so far, I'd imagine right now would be the time he would be the most receptive to the idea of just going somewhere else <coughs> so I, I'm like I'm rambling right now but I just want to throw that out there because again I want to speak it into existence I did a video a couple years ago about Julio Jones coming to the Ravens it did not happen I did a video like a year and a half ago about Odell coming to the Ravens it did not happen but I still want to do a video about DJ Moore or possibly OBJ coming to the Ravens because again why not why not why be cheap I I can't stand this dumbass mentality that the Ravens front office tries to sell the fans about oh right player right price and all this bullshit you you like you, you keep being cheap for all the wrong positions and you keep overspending for all the wrong positions and then every year you still have big holes in your roster you still have big holes and shortcomings in your roster after all these years like they were like on so many levels they're just refusing to adapt and they're wasting time you got a you got a generational quarterback you got a once in a generation type of quarterback and you wasted his whole rookie deal not surrounding him with weapons so now you're in this situation where he hasn't resigned you guys aren't consistent you wasted a whole bunch of resources on defensive players you wasted a whole bunch of free agency money and draft picks on defensive and high draft picks especially on a bunch of defensive players but then when it comes down to it when it matters most none of these players are are, are actually helping win these games All, most of these players are non-factors so I, I it's it's mind-blowing it's pathetic that still the Ravens are insisting on trying to sell the fans this idea that oh no let's still waste time In a day and age in the NFL where it's completely flipped into a high-scoring, high-flying passing offense, passing offense type of league, they're still trying to sell this idea of no, we're gonna play defense and run the ball when you have the worst defense in the NFL and you have one of the five worst running attacks in the NFL when you don't include Lamar Jackson's numbers. Get Lamar more weapons. DJ Moore to the Ravens. I would like to see that. So 
you know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Let me know how, on a scale of one to ten, how realistic do you even think it is that DJ Moore could or would come would come to the Ravens? I'd give it um, I, I would give it a five out of ten because I'm optimistic. Like just in general, just in life, I'm a pretty optimistic person. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below.